We turn now to the art world and the public and often political drawings of a graffiti master. He's known as Banksy, but little else is known about him. You see, he is unquestionably famous, but at the same time, unknown. Just last week, San Francisco woke up to what appears to be six Banksy originals. So who is the private man behind these public works? And how does he make a living? Nick Watt is hot on his trail in tonight's Sign of the Time. I'd call this one of the stranger sights of recent days. Crowds gathered at the LA premiere of a movie made by a faceless graffiti artist from England. What do you think the appeal of Banksy is? Oh, that's a good question. I don't have an answer to that. <laughs> He's exhibited in London and LA. He's collected by Brangelina. You would be looking to pay in the region of uh, half a million dollars. Some of our oldest collectors who uh, only have collections of Picassos, they own Banksy. He's made political statements at Disneyland and on the wall that keeps Palestinians away from Israelis. He's made countless more frivolous statements elsewhere, but no one knows who he is. You didn't deal with Banksy directly? Not directly, no. No, I've never met Banksy. I have no idea who he is. Could be you. We went to the east end of London, me and Mike, the producer, in search of his early ooze, the street art that first made him famous. <laughs> I split my pants getting over that, so feel me from here up. It's still here if you look hard enough. And it's getting more and more valuable. <clears throat> we saw an opportunity and we took it. Bradley Ridge and a friend bought this wall, spent nine days removing it, thousands of dollars transporting it, and 60 days restoring it. But Banksy won't authenticate it. He doesn't like people to profit from his street pieces, which is fair enough, we understand that. And um, that doesn't say that there isn't a market for it. It's for sale at half a million dollars. Do you think that's one? Yeah, good one. If it is, I'm surprised no one's stolen the door. Maybe we could steal the door. <laughs> <laughs> Most Banksies are left to fade in situ. Here, a very rare alleged Banksy sighting. The BBC has searched for him. We have established that as a teenager, he grew up in a quiet suburban street. The people who live here don't want their property to be identified. The Daily Mail claims to have found him, Robin Banks, they say, and here's a four-year-old photograph of him. Banksy, after some negotiations with one of his handlers, agreed to have a chat over email. So, I'm assuming you will never reveal your identity. Why not? After a few hours, a reply. I haven't gone public because I don't want to go to court. I don't want to get prosecuted. And most of all, I don't want to disappoint people with my miserable face. He was certainly the grimiest person I've ever met. He had a, um, a, a layer of dirt uh, on him, under his fingernails, on his face. Elizabeth Wolfe was an intern at The Guardian when Banksy, supping Guinness in a pub, gave her boss the only face-to-face -face interview he's ever given. People think that I'm sort of one of two people that have ever really met Banksy, and I'm sure tons of people, millions of people have met Banksy. They just thought that he was a handyman and, and didn't think anything of it. Apparently his parents still think he's a house painter, or so the myth goes. Why do you do what you do? I try to make pictures that work with their location and have some kind of point, but the main satisfaction just comes from getting away with it. In this, his first movie, Banksy explains why he turned to celluloid, why, well, why he turned the camera on a crazy Frenchman who was trying to make a movie about his search for Banksy. Most normal art is built to last like hundreds of years. It's cast in bronze or it's oil on canvas, but street art has a short lifespan, so it needed documenting. I think it's the art and the mystery. Yeah. Do you think he's in this line? Uh, yeah, I think this is him right here. <laughs> Is he in this crowd at the premiere? Were you at the premiere last night? I didn't go to the premiere. I'm not much of a people person. 
What Banksy has achieved in our celebrity-obsessed age is a magnification of his own celebrity by hiding from it. I heard he's uh, like six gorillas. That, I suppose, is art in itself, and perhaps more of a statement than any he has daubed on concrete or canvas. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in London. He certainly has a sense of humor. Nick Watt searching for his own Banksy.